Hello everyone, welcome to our brand new channel called Dunian. In this channel, we will be exploring and touring some of the most interesting places from all over the world using Microsoft Flight Simulator. If you like what I'm doing, do like the video and subscribe to my channel. The first country we will be exploring is Singapore. Singapore is a city-state located in the Southeast Asia at the southern tip of the Malay Peninsula. It is about 137 kilometers north of the equator. The country has an area of 731.1 square kilometers. She has a median temperature of 27.8 degrees Celsius, but the average temperature can go as high as 31.6 degrees Celsius or as low as 25 degrees Celsius. It is basically of a summer here with high levels of humidity. Singapore gained its independence in 9 August 1965 after she had some disagreement with her neighbour, Malaysia. Demographics-wise, she has a population of 5.64 million and has the third largest population density in the world. It is a multi-ethnic country where 74.1% of the residents are Chinese, 13.4% are Malays, 9.2% are Indian and 3.3% uh, of other races including of Eurasian descent. Singapore has four official languages, English, Malay, Mandarin and Tamil. While Malay is the national language, English is the main language for education and official business. Now without further ado, let's look at some interesting places to visit here in Singapore. The first place we're visiting here in Singapore is the Marina Bay Sands. It was opened in 2010. Prominent feature of the design is the three hotel towers. The three towers are broader at the base and narrow as they rise. The resort is designed by Moshe Safdi, who says it was initially inspired by card decks. It includes a 2560 room hotel, a conventional exhibition center, a mall, a museum, a large theater, and a casino. Up on the roof, we have the Sky Park. The Sky Park has the world's longest elevated swimming pool with an infinity pool concept at 151 meters. The pool is located 191 meters above ground. Art Science Museum is constructed next to the tree blocks. It resembles a blooming lotus flower. In it holds two major exhibitions. Close to the Marina Basins, we have another stunning place to visit, Gardens by the Bay. Opened in June 2012, it was part of a nation's plan to transform its garden city to a city in a garden. There are three gardens, Bay Central Garden which stands at 150,000 square meters, Bay East Garden at 320,000 square meters, and the largest and most popular visit is the Bay South Garden which is at 540,000 square meters, which contains two conservatories, Flower Dome and Flower Forest. These two conservatories hold different climatic conditions. Flower Dome replicates the cool dry climate of the Mediterranean and hosts baobabs and olive trees. And Cloud Forest on the other hand replicates a cool moist climate akin to tropical mountain region. The two conservatories contain over 220,000 plants and span a combined area of 23,000 square meters, equivalent to four football fields. Outside of the conservatories, there are 18 super trees. They are all located in Bay South with the tallest steel frame concrete structure standing at 50 meters and the shortest at 25 meters. Super tree is covered with nearly 163,000 plants of more than 200 species and varieties. Moving forward, we have the Singapore Flyer. It was opened to the public on 1st March 2008 after taking two and a half years to construct. It was designed by Japanese architect Kisho Kurokawa and DP Architects who were inspired by famous icons like the Eiffel Tower in Paris and the London Eye in London. Singapore Flyer stands at 165 meters and has a diameter of 150 meters. It stands at a height of 42 story building. Each revolution of the flyer takes approximately 30 minutes. It can hold up to 784 passengers in 28 of the air-conditioned capsules. It offers a 360-degree panoramic view of the Marina Bay skyline, Raffles Place, Malayan Park, 
Emperor's Place and the Padawan. If you're lucky, you'll be able to spot landmarks up to 45km away, like Changi Airport, Sentosa Island, and maybe some parts of Malaysia and Indonesia. Fun fact to note that directional change was made to the Singapore Flyer on 28 July 2008. Joe Mansus pointed out that the flyer was quote unquote taking fortune away from Singapore. With the change in the direction of the rotation, visitors now start their flyer experience with views of eastern Singapore overlooking beaches and housing estates and end off with the business district and marina basins. Next stop place to visit is the Orchard Road. What we see here is a one-way boulevard flanked by a couple of shopping malls and hotels. However, its humble beginning dates back to the early 1830s when it was just an unnamed road but was home to fruit orchards, nutmeg plantations and pepper farms. Orchard Road started getting more popular when in 1958, Orchard Road's first department store, Tanks, then known as House of Tanks, was opened to the public. These days, the whole flank in Orchard Road are filled with shopping malls and hotels like Ion Orchard, Tanks, Paragon and Takashimaya. Here lies nearly 800,000 square meters of shops and restaurants, a renowned brand of high street fashion, stores and exclusive restaurants can be found. Next, we have the Changi Airport and Jewel. Let's start off first with Changi Airport. Changi Airport is a major international airport in Singapore, first opened in 1981 and is one of the largest transportation hubs in Asia. It is one of the world's busiest airports for international passengers. It has over 7,400 flights arrive or depart at Changi each week. That is like one every 80 seconds. There are five airport terminals, with the fifth one, Terminal 5, expected to be completed somewhere in 2030. Changi Airport is well positioned in Singapore as any aircraft could fly over the sea, thus avoiding noise pollution within the residential area and avoid disastrous consequences on the ground in the event of an air missile. Now part of the Changi Airport is Jewel. It was opened in 2019. The external glass and steel facade was designed by a group of architects led by Moshi Safdi. Yep, the one who designed the Marina Bay Sands. Rather than it being a terminal, it is actually of mixed use of nature themed entertainment and a retail complex. It holds a 40 meter rain vortex, which is the world's largest indoor waterfall, surrounded by 2,000 trees called the Forest Valley. Jewel Changi Airport boasts a range of global and local delicacies with over 80 FMB outlets. So, there we have it a few interesting places to visit here in Singapore. If you like what I'm doing, remember to like and subscribe to the channel. See you again on our next video.